Hey guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews, and this is a topic that I really wanted to cover the day it happened, but uh, I, I wasn't, I wasn't up to par. I haven't, I've been a little not me recently. However, we're gonna talk about GameStop because, of course, we are. This is, you know, what do I, what else do I do on this channel? Because, you know, I just wait for hateful comment down below. Um, GameStop recently did some crazy things, like insanely crazy things, and they might actually be for the better, um, yeah, things I never thought I would say, right, uh, so they actually fired, well, they didn't fire the CEO, uh, my, Reigns stepped down, Reigns is their CEO, he stepped down because his brain tumor, uh, came back, so this isn't his first time battling this brain tumor, this is, the second time. Uh, now, if I had been GameStop CEO for eight years, I would probably retire at that point too. I mean, the man has made hand over fist worth of money. GameStop does not pay him in little amounts, um, but he's also been the person in charge during almost every terrible thing GameStop has done to you. Not all, but most. Eight years is a really long time to be in charge of a company. Very long time. Uh, that means he took over shortly after they bought EB Games. Um, now, a part of me does kind of wonder, though, because you got to keep in mind, this is the guy who did start the circle of life. Um, a lot of this stuff that you dislike as a consumer about GameStop was started under his tenure. And that's the thing, is the more you burn your consumers the less people you have to sell things to. So even if you are having a good sale, some people are just going to go to a Best Buy and have them price match it. Target, have them price match it. Because they have that. It's price, you know, most places have a price match policy these days, except for GameStop, who does not. Now, a part of why I think they actually were going to fire him and just let him walk out this way to kind of save face and his dignity, I do believe the brain tumor did come back. I by no means am saying that I think that is fake. Um, I actually feel really bad for the guy. That is a terrible thing to have to deal with. But that same day, they also fired two other CEOs. Well, not CEOs. The COO and the brand officer. The COO, Tony Bartell, which a lot of people know. Bartell has been with GameStop for a very long time as well. But um, they, they let go of two other major positions and had the, the next CEO in line all ready to go at that meeting. This was all like a one and done kind of situation. Now, again, maybe he wanted to make changes that would have been good for the customer and the board didn't agree with it. Maybe he's the one who had all these ideas that just like the circle of life, mistreating the employees. There's a lot of bad anti-employee policies there too. And there are a lot of bad anti-consumer policies that that company has. But with a brand new CEO, a lot of things could change. I mean, obviously GameStop is still not necessarily going to prolong too much life out of that industry. Eventually things are going to go all digital. There's not much they can do to fight that off at this point. I understand there are still some of you out there who disagree with me on that, but uh, it, it's, it's happened more and more. There's games that are already all digital in this particular day and age. Even if you go buy a copy of PUBG right now for Xbox in a store, it is a download code inside that box. So, th there's, there's just so many different ways this could go. And I'm not capable of seeing the future. I don't know anything about the new CEO, but I do know that he's been with the company for a while. So, it's not really... Too surprising, they probably already had him lined up. Um, I just, I'm really curious to what direction this ends up taking them. As of right now, we are about two or three weeks out from when they made this move, and it hasn't impacted anything yet. But two or three weeks isn't really a long time in terms of what happens in a company. Um, 
that's actually pretty quick. If, if he made some major changes in like three weeks, that would be like insanely impressive. But I, I am curious to see, and I will obviously always keep an open mind. I would love for GameStop to be competitive in the gaming market again. Um, they're not right now. They literally tend to be the most overpriced, especially when you have things like Best Buy's Gamers Club Unlocked. Uh, Amazon Prime actually, I believe, recently stopped doing their games discount, which is kind of shocking, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. That and all these other companies also have price match policies. So GameStop does have to do something to become more innovative and fresh, and this might allow them to be able to do those things under new management. Um, it, it, would, it would be nice, though. Competition is healthy in you know our type of economy it, it is what you want to see more competition will make other stores more competitive GameStop went out of business how how many other stores do you think would lax on the game deals they're doing I mean eventually they're all gonna lax on the game deals when it all goes digital but again is what it is Guys, let me know what you think about this huge, giant shift at GameStop. Do you think this will pan out for the good? Do you think it'll pan out for the bad? Do you think it'll just remain the same? I, again, I don't know. If you enjoyed this video, though, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. If there's anywhere you would like to follow me, such as Twitter, Facebook, or any of those things, you can do so in the description box down below. Also... Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all soon with plenty more content coming for you.